Rwanda, along with Australia, Argentina, Luxembourg and South Korea, won a seat on the UN Security Council on Thursday, despite accusations by a UN panel that Rwanda's defense minister commands a rebellion in Democratic Republic of Congo. Rwanda was unopposed in its bid for the African seat on the council that South Africa will vacate at the end of December, but still needed approval from two-thirds of the UN General Assembly members present to secure the two-year term. It won 148 votes in the 193-nation assembly. Argentina also was elected to the thank you for trying verbose. This recording will go away once the product has been purchased. Council unopposed, win 182 votes. Australia won a seat with 140 votes, Luxembourg with 131 votes and South Korea with 149. Cambodia, Bhutan and Finland failed to secure two-year seats on the council. There are five veto-holding permanent members of the council, the United States, Britain, France, Russia and China, and ten temporary members without veto power. Thursday's election was for the term from January 1, 2013, to December 31, 2014. Rwanda's government said that it would work with all members of the council to ensure it is responsive. Thank you for trying verbose. This recording will go away once the product has been purchased. And reflective of the views and aspirations of the developing world, Rwanda's troubling and tragic past allows it to bring to the UNFC unique perspective on matters of war and peace. It posted on a Twitter account created for its Security Council term at Rwanda Messi. Before the vote. The Congolese delegation told the General Assembly it objected to Rwanda joining the Security Council, accusing its neighbor of harboring war criminals operating in the eastern part of the DRC and who are being sought by international justice. A confidential UN report, seen thank you for trying verbose. This recording will go away once the product has been purchased. By Reuters on Tuesday, cast a shadow over Rwanda's election to the 15-member UN Power Center which has the ability to impose sanctions and authorize military interventions. The Security Council's group of experts said that Rwanda and Uganda, despite their strong denials, continued to support M23 rebels in their six-month fight against Congolese government troops in the east of the country. Blatant violations Rwandan President Paul Kagame posted a declaration on Twitter welcoming the result, no matter what haters say justice and truth will prevail. Sometimes it just requires thank you for trying verbose. This recording will go away once the product has been purchased. A bit of good fight for all that. Speaking to reporters in New York, Rwandan Foreign Minister Louise Muchiki Wabo complained about the timing of the leak of the experts' report to Reuters two days ahead of the Security Council vote, but added that the leak was predictable. She also sought to assure Congo that Rwanda would be a responsible council member. I believe the Democratic Republic of Congo should see Rwanda on the Security Council as value addition, she said after the vote. Philippe Holofian of the advocacy group Human Rights Thank you for trying verbose. This recording will go away once the product has been purchased. Watch criticized the inclusion of Rwanda on the Security Council after blatantly violating the Security Council's arms embargo and undermining the work of the UN by propping up the abusive M23 rebels. Rwanda is rewarded with a seat at the table, he said. Kakali is now in a position to try to shield its own officials implicated in abuses from UN sanctions, which is a flagrant conflict of interest, Polarion said in a statement. Other Security Council members now have an even greater responsibility to hold Rwanda to account. Britain's deputy thank you for trying verbose. This recording will go away once the product has been purchased. UN Ambassador Philip Parham put a more positive spin on Rwanda's election, saying, We look forward to working with them on issues of international peace and security including the efforts to try to end the cycle of violence in the eastern DRC. Australian Foreign Minister Bob Carr described Australia's election as a big juicy, decisive win that endures the country as a good global citizen. For us as a middle power long way from the centers of cloud in the world, the centers of power in the world. This is a lovely moment, thank you for trying verbose. This recording will go away once the product has been purchased. Carr told reporters after the vote. South Africa, Colombia, Germany, India and Portugal are leading the Security Council in December. Azerbaijan, Guatemala, Pakistan, Togo and Morocco will remain until the end of 2013. The last time Rwanda was on the council was in 1994-95.
that coincided with a genocide in which 800,000 people were killed when Rwanda's Hutu-led government and ethnic militias went on a 100-day killing spree, massacring Tutsis and moderate Hutus. The Congolese government on Wednesday demanded targeted sanctions against Rwanda and Uganda officials named in the UN experts thank you for trying verbose. This recording will go away once the product has been purchased. Report According to the UN experts, who monitor compliance with sanctions and an arms embargo on the Congo, Rwanda Defense Minister General James Kabarabi was ultimately commanding the rebellion and both Rwanda and Uganda were providing weapons troops and military and political aid to the insurgency.